Hey vlog, it's Logan here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Vlogmas this year. Now I know, I've never done Vlogmas before, hell, I'm new to vlogging. You've seen how few vlogs are actually on my video and my channel here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try Vlogmas. If you don't know what it is, Vlogmas is where vloggers will take and do the 25 days of December and they'll do a vlog a day. Mainly they do that because the revenues are up at this time of year from all the companies on the ad revenue. But that's not why I'm going to do it. What I want to do Vlogmas for is to get myself into the habit of daily vlogging. Yes, you put up a vlog every single day. And me, I'm not so good at vlogging. It's not something that I've ever really done. What I usually do instead of actually, you know, uh documenting what I'm doing I just do it and enjoy it it seemed to me all the all these years that you know watching people they spend more time to document what they're doing than they're actually doing it so are they enjoying it I don't know well I just have to see but at this point what I want to do is start documenting more and more of what I'm doing so the only way to do that is vlogging and well I guess vlogmas is a good good thing because it'll force me to do one vlog a day. I make the commitment to do it, so if I can make one vlog a day, that'll be great. I am committed, and I'm going to do it. I know a lot of people start it, and then they just start to fall off, but I'm going to do it. Now, the vlogs probably will be shorter than other videos that I might do later on. And some days you might actually get two vid vlogs, because I'm going to put some of the other stuff up as well that I've got footage from the past. I'm trying to get all of my vlogs up and running. It's a slow process. It's this again, this isn't something that I'm used to or good at. It's also not really a source of revenue, so I'm kind of keep putting it on the back burner most of the time. We'll just have to see how this works. Now, for today, I'm going to plan out the rest of what I'm going to do for the year of 2022. Granted, I've got most of it done. I've got my videos for the next couple weeks on my main channel. If you haven't seen that, go watch my main channel. It's There's a link down in the description below. And I've got a couple videos already ready to go. One for tonight and one for next week and the week after. Then finally, what I'm going to do is figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the year on those videos for the main channel. And then after that, what I'm going to do is go on and next week well yeah probably next week I'm going to lay out my plans for 2023 the first quarter and see how we're gonna go I've got several things planned that I want to get done including a new course and a couple other things and I want to get all of that started I've been working on the course for quite a while I just gotta get it done it's uh, I think you guys will like it. I think everybody will like it, actually. It'd be useful for anybody. So I just want to get it done. Now, today, let's go on and get our plans for the rest of the year. As I said, I got three videos already done. Let's see what else we've got for the rest of the year, because I know there's a couple of weeks in there that we still got to do. And we'll work on getting this vlog up this evening. Got another vlog going up right now. And let's just see what happens today. I've been trying to figure out a way to much, much better uh, organize my day. You know, I've tried different day planners and all of that, and they don't ever seem to work. So I think what I've done is I'm going to see if this will work for me. I hope it will. But I went over to Canva, simple editing program, online, great. It's about as good as Photoshop for um, doing creatives. It's great. In my opinion, it's more of a InDesign replacement than a Photoshop, but it does both of them pretty well. And I created my own day planner. Let's just see how it works. I kind of went off of one of their templates and worked around with it. And there it is. Let's see how that's going to work out. Download it, I'll print it out, and then I'll just do my daily, you know, I got activities. You never want to do more than five tasks in a day on your to-do list simply because once you get beyond that it is impossible to go on and actually get them done you'll never do them if you do more than that five is the most you want to do but you can add other things that are activities which are much smaller 
things to do, you know, basic things. I added reminders for, you know, appointments or things like that. Also activities would be appointments. There's a little notes section where I can put other notes, the goal for the day, and then the basic plan for the day. So I'm going to start using this and see how well that works. Let's see if we can actually get a little bit better organized and get the days done and become more productive this way. They say one of the best ways to become productive is to go on and put up a to-do list and actually follow it so you can follow through. So let's just see how well that's going to work. I've already put it out and I'm going to work on tomorrow's. And what I'm going to do each day is at the end of the day, I'm going to line out what I'm going to do tomorrow. That way, when I wake up, I already know exactly what we're going to do. And I think that'll be a lot more productive. And so I can get a whole lot more done during the day. Seems like I end up wasting a lot of time and I'm kind of tired of that. It's time to go on and do something different and stop wasting so much time. Well, I got my to-do list done for tomorrow, got everything filled out, and then I'm gonna do that, as I said before, I'm gonna do that every day from now on. We're just gonna have to see how well that works. Um, it's gotta work a lot better than what I've been doing, because I really need to get more productive. I get a whole lot done each day, but I think I'm wasting a little bit too much time on other stuff, and I think this will work. So, I got that all filled out, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go on and close out this vlog for today because all I'm going to do now is go on up and uh, make dinner. I think we have stir fried pork and noodles. It'll be a good dinner. And I'm going to do that so that I can relax for the rest of the evening and then get at it tomorrow morning. And I'll talk to you then. Please go on and hit the like button and subscribe to my vlog. Also go on and check out my main channel. There'll be a link to it down in the description below as well. Over there, we talk mainly diecast, and this is going to be a lot of fun. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.